Hello. Dana is a swimming champion, preparing for her competitions on Monday. 24 hours before the big day, she disappears. Nobody can find her, and the police suspect three other swimmers. Hmm. Hannah says she hasn't spoken to Dana since their last practice. Ashley explains that she invited Dana for lunch on Saturday, but the missing swimmer refused because she was getting her hair done for the competition. Hmm. And Melanie says that she spoke to Dana the night before. Dana told her she was feeling anxious before the race. One of the swimmers is lying. Who is it? <laughs> Ashley knows where Dana is. Ah. It doesn't make sense for a swimmer to have her hair done before a competition. Laura was walking home from work when she heard screams coming from a nearby house. She immediately rushed in to help. She followed the voice and it guided her to a basement. As soon as she walked in, the door slammed shut. Three portals opened in front of her. Only one of them led to safety. The first portal was filled with giant venomous spiders. In the second portal, there was a huge suspended rock that was supposed to crash down the moment someone stepped in. In the third portal, seven hungry crocodiles were waiting for their next victim. Can you help Laura choose the right portal? Laura should pick the second portal. She can throw her shoes inside, wait for the giant stone to fall to the ground, and make her way around it. Daniel is a sailor on a large cruise ship. One day, the captain asked him to go to the hold and get some supplies. But as the man was walking down the ladder, it broke. Try as he might, he couldn't get out. Sometime later, he discovered there was a hole in the side of the ship. More and more water was getting inside through this hole. How can Daniel get out? He can put on one of the life jackets that are in the room and wait for the water to fill the hole. This water will lift him and he'll be able to push the door open. Look at this man and three women attentively. Can you figure out which one of them is his real wife? It must be the girl on the left. Look, unlike the other two girls, she has nothing in her hands. At the same time, the man is holding a purse, which, if we're honest, doesn't match his style at all. <laughs> ben and his girlfriend, Amelie, went to explore a cave and got lost. After some time, they came across two people, a guy and a young woman. Ah. The man, bearded and rough looking, had a shovel in his hand. Hmm. I've been stuck here for a week. I know how to get to the surface, but I need your help. Come with me. The young woman exclaimed, Don't trust him. He's a criminal. Oh no. Follow me. I've been stuck here for way longer than him, but I think I know where the exit is. Hmm. Who should Ben and Amelie believe? Ben and Amelie decided to follow the man. If the girl had been in the cave for so long, why did she look so tidy and have fresh flowers in her hair? Look at this image. Can you figure out who came from the past? It's this guy. Take a closer look at his chest. He's wearing a shirt frill. Those were popular in the 19th century. How about this picture? Who's from the past? I bet it's this young girl. Look at her weird hat. And now, will you be able to spot the time traveler? It's this lady. Have a look. She's wearing clogs. Nature photographer Lydia was out taking pictures of trees and flowers in the park. She stopped when she noticed some weird chemical smell in the air. She took photos of all three factories in the area. When Lydia looked at the images later, 
she immediately realized which factory emitted toxic gas. Can you figure it out too? It's not the first factory. It seems abandoned. The second one is surrounded by trees and flowers. It means the smoke coming out of its funnels is safe. It's the third factory that's the toxic one. The trees around it look dry and unhealthy, and the flowers have turned black. At the airport, a furious traveler claimed that the contents of his baggage had disappeared. When I got my suitcase, it was empty. I want compensation. After checking the passenger's info, an airport worker found out that he had indeed left London with a heavy suitcase. And now his bag was empty and a bit wet. But don't you think the whole situation is a bit suspicious? Hmm. Can you figure out what probably happened here? The passenger left London with a suitcase full of ice. During the flight, the ice melted and the water leaked out and the man demanded compensation for his lost belongings. Lauren cooked 10 buckets of chicken wings for a family gathering, one for each guest. But later, it turned out that Jimmy hadn't gotten his portion. Someone had taken two buckets. Is it Uncle Patrick? He looks suspicious. Or maybe it's Lauren's son, Justin. He's wearing this creepy knowing smile. Or could Jimmy himself hide his chicken wings to get another portion? <laughs> what do you think? Where are the wings? Look at the dog! It wouldn't leave Uncle Patrick's side. It can smell the meat the man has hidden. Damien was at work when he found out he'd won the lottery jackpot. He told his accountant he wanted to give half of this money to his best friend, Logan. Yeah. But random people started showing up in the office calling themselves Logan to deceive the accountant and get the money. Ooh. Can you figure out who the real best friend is? It's the guy wearing a matching bracelet with Damien. Ooh. Emily was standing on one side of the river, and Anna was on the other. Anna shouted to Emily to come and meet her, and Emily did that. There was no bridge across the river, but she crossed it anyway without even getting wet. Hello. How did she do it? The river was frozen. Three people were stopped at the security check in an international airport. They were suspected of smuggling different stuff out of the country. The first man was heading to a beach resort. In his suitcase, there was a lot of stuff you could use at the seaside. An umbrella, a pair of sunglasses, sunscreen, and a beach towel. The second man had a cage with three colorful birds and a pet carrier with a family of hamsters. He had all the necessary papers. The third man was traveling for business. In his bag, he had a suit, some documents, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and a bottle of expensive shampoo. Who's the smuggler? It's the third guy. He's bald. Why would he need this shampoo? Five men were fishing in a boat not far from the shore. A big wave turned the boat over and all the men fell into the water. And still, not a single man got wet. How come? All the men were happily married. Stephen was driving to work when he realized he had left a folder with important documents at home. It was about 9 a.m. when he entered his house and saw a man leaving through the back door and running to a red car. Stephen called the police and told them about what had happened. Oh, no. Police officers didn't waste time and went to look for the criminal. After searching for 10 minutes, they spotted a similar looking car near a cafe. When they entered the place, there was only one customer there. One of the police officers came up to him. Is it your car? Where were you 20 minutes ago? The customer answered, yeah, the car's mine, but I've been sitting here for more than an hour. 
the police officer immediately arrested him. Can you figure out why? The police officer noticed that the cafe only opened at 9 a.m. The guy couldn't have spent an hour. Hey Sherlock, I've got a job for you. Are you ready to polish your analytical skills? Great. Here you go. Yeah. Once Lily, a real estate agent, was showing a luxurious apartment to a wealthy family. The family liked everything about the apartment, but for one thing, the place had huge floor-to-ceiling windows, and they were worried someone could accidentally break the glass and fall out. Lily really wanted to sell that expensive apartment. That's why she decided to prove that the glass was unbreakable. She ran up to the window and hit it at full speed. The glass indeed didn't break. But Lily fell out of the window and was rushed to a hospital. How could it happen? The glass didn't break. It simply popped out of its frame. One day, Detective Morris decided to have a walk in the park. In the middle of his stroll, he got a call from his assistant. It turned out that a huge pile of plastic on the outskirts of the city had disappeared overnight. The detective rushed there, and guess what? The information was true. But the most bizarre thing? There were no tire tracks or any other marks around the place. But then, how could the thief transport so much plastic without using a vehicle? Suddenly, Detective Morris noticed some weird footmarks. Can you help the man understand who they belong to? Those are definitely not human footprints. They might belong to an animal or some other creature. The case is getting weirder by the minute. Detective Morris was wandering around the city for hours looking for clues. Soon his assistant informed him about the disappearance of yet another pile of plastic. At the crime scene, the detective found the same footmarks. The expert he had asked to examine the photos and samples replied that the footprints didn't match any other in her extensive database. She even suggested that they could belong to an alien. But why would aliens need our plastic? Morris decided to prevent the next crime. He went to the outskirts of the city again and spotted two piles of garbage. Look at them attentively. Which one might aliens want to steal? They will definitely go for the pile on the left. There's too much stuff made of iron in the right pile, but aliens are after plastic, so pile on the left it is. Detective Morris decided to catch the aliens red-handed. In an hour or so, the man noticed a spaceship landing not far from the piles of trash. An alien climbed out of the spaceship and transported the pile that contained plastic into the ship. Detective Morris was shocked, but there was no time for panicking. A small door was open in the side of the spaceship. He sneaked inside. He only had some time to look around when a siren started blaring. Oh no, are they gonna take off? The man rushed back to the door, but it was already locked. Luckily, Morris noticed a math equation on the door. It looked as if it was made out of matchsticks. Five plus seven equals two. But the answer was wrong. By trial and error, the detective understood he could only move one matchstick to make the equation correct. How can he do it? Detective Morris moved this matchstick and got 9 minus 7 equals 2. The door opened and the man ran for his life. But the main question remained unanswered. Why did aliens need our plastic? Write your ideas in the comments below. Now look at these animals on the screen. A cat, a camel, a cheetah, a chicken, a crocodile, and a pig. Which animal doesn't belong here? The pig is the odd one out. It's the only animal whose name doesn't start with the letter C. Did you get it? Nice job! Look at these six glasses. The first three are filled with water, while the other three are empty. 
How can you arrange them so that they alternate in a full empty full pattern if you can only move one glass? Pick up the second glass and pour the water into the fifth one. Here you go. Now you have seven guests at your birthday party. And your task is to figure out how to divide your very round birthday cake into eight equal pieces by making only three cuts. First of all, you need to cut your cake vertically in the middle of the cake to divide it into two equal pieces. Repeat the same process, but this time, make a horizontal cut. Now you've got four slices. And the final third cut should go laterally across the cake. Voila! You've got eight equal slices. Look at these bottom lines and try to figure out which of them is the continuation of the top one. It's this line on the left, see? You've been kidnapped by an insane scientist who's going to test his new protective cream on you. After covering you with this lotion, which you absolutely don't trust, he offers you to choose one of the three containers he'll then throw you in. One of the containers is filled with radioactive waste. In the second container, there is an acid that can eat even through metal. And the third one is filled with lava from the largest volcano on Earth that erupted a year ago. Which container should you choose? Pick the container with lava. If the volcano erupted a year ago, the lava must be already solid. Look at these prisoners. Can you figure out who came from the future? It's the guy in the middle. Unlike the other two men who are dressed like people were in the past, he's wearing modern clothes and cool sneakers. A terrible virus broke free from a laboratory, and now all animals and plants on Earth are mutating at a horrifying speed. Uh oh. You've been trying to find the solution, but instead got trapped in the laboratory where it had all started. There are three doors you can escape through, but behind the first one, there is a bunch of aggressive flesh-eating cacti. The second door hides hundreds of venomous bees, and the third door prevents an attack of fire-spitting dragon-like monsters. Which door can lead you to freedom? You can get out of there alive if you choose the first door. Even though the cacti eat flesh, they're still plants and can't move. So you can easily get around them. You're trapped in a room that's steadily getting filled with water coming from a tap in the wall. There are no windows in the room and the door is blocked. You have a mop and a big bucket. What can you do to survive? Yep, you don't have any options in this riddle, so... Think of your own way to get out of this situation. Your chances to stay alive are much higher than you might think. Just turn off the tap. Nathan came to visit his friend Zachary, who worked in a museum. Look what I've got. A priceless manuscript that was written more than a thousand years ago. Zachary looked through the manuscript and realized his friend had been fooled. Does anything in this text strike you as strange? King Alfred V ruled the country from 1290 to 1320 before Common Era. If we talk about the dates before the Common Era, they should be in reverse order. The original text would read, King Alfred V ruled the country from 1320 to 1290 before Common Era. A villain has caught you, and now he lets you choose in which cage he will keep you. You can get out of the cage only through the lid in its ceiling. But on top of the first cage, there's a nest of venomous snakes. Boiling water is on top of the second cage. And on top of the third cage, there is a hungry lion. Which cage should you pick to be able to escape when the villain falls asleep?
Choose the second cage because the water will eventually evaporate and you'll get out of the cage without problems. You're locked in a small room without windows and just one door. To get out of there, you need to crack this riddle. 1, 2, 3 equals 5, 3, 2, 1 equals 9, 2, 1, 1 equals 4, 1, 1, 2 equals 3, 1, 3, 2 equals... How fast can you get out of the locked room? The answer lies in the addition of the second and third digits, and the multiplication of the sum by the first digit. Let's take the first equation. 1, 2, 3 equals 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Let's make sure. 3, 2, 1 equals 9. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Then the answer we need is again 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Now, let's check if you can think outside the box. A few Rebus puzzles will do the job. Yeah. Try to figure out this one. Way. Progress. It means progress underway. How about this one? Noon. Good. It's good afternoon. Pay attention to the arrangement of the letters. C. L. E. A. N. Do you think you can figure it out? It means clean up. What word or phrase can you see here? Give, 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 give. It stands for forgive. Concentrate. I believe you can crack this puzzle. 1N, 3N, 5N, 7N. This rebus hides odds and ends. Try to figure out this one. Stay 4NCE. It's for instance. Great job! Mr. Carter, a rich man who collected antiques, asked Detective Morris to visit him. When the detective arrived, the collector said, I've just got a precious statuette, but I need to go away on business for a week, and I'm afraid someone will break into my house. Of course, the statuette is insured, but still. Detective Morris had some other urgent things to do, but he promised to come back in the evening to figure out the solution. But when he arrived several hours later, Mr. Carter was in despair. I drove my sister to the doctor and was away for an hour or so. But when I came back, the statuette was gone. Detective Morris didn't believe the collector. Why? When he left the house in the afternoon, he noticed an apple lying in front of the left part of the gate. It's still there. But for a car to drive through, both parts of the gate have to be open. This means that Mr. Carter lied about leaving his home by car. Several gold bullion bars were stolen from a bank. The police had a few suspects. But when they arrived at the main suspect's house, they realized they had forgotten to bring a warrant. The man told them he wasn't going to allow them to search his house. Come back with the warrant and we'll talk. An hour later, the police officers came back with the needed documents. They thoroughly searched the house and the garden, but didn't find the gold. Suddenly, one of the officers exclaimed, I know where he hid the gold. Have you figured it out too? The gold is in the swimming pool. When the police visited the man for the first time, the level of water in it was much lower. A very famous painting disappeared from the museum. Later, the police managed to find it. But there was a problem. They found not one, uh -oh. but three paintings. 
Only one of them is original. The others are just copies. Can you help the police figure out which the original painting is? It's the one with the brown frame. Take a look. All frames in the museum are made in the same style. You've got accepted to the best school of witchcraft and wizardry. One of the classes you have to attend is about transforming into animals. There are three professors who teach this class. Each of them specializes in transforming into a certain animal. Look at your professors and try to figure out what kind of uh -oh. animal each of them turns into. Have you noticed that the first professor has a forked tongue? He must transform into a snake. The second professor has a lion's tail. It must be the animal she transforms into. And the third professor has bear claws. He must turn into a grizzly bear.